Welcome to another edition of Hot Take Horror. This is the second, second, number two edition. I just came in out of the rain and it's freaking pouring outside right now, so I'm still a little wet. But uh, I, I actually filmed this already once, but I forgot I had no light on. It was ridiculous. I was trying to edit it and brighten it. And I'm like, I don't want to just reshoot it. So here we are again. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the Horror Syndicate. Check out thehorrorsyndicate.com for all kinds of other madness that we do on the site. Um, Seth, one of our contributors, just did a top, well, 11. His, he ranked all the Halloween movies, basically. Uh, and it's one of these videos somewhere. Uh, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter that we never even use. But do it anyway, who cares? So last time on Hot Take Horror, which is I'm trying to, trying to like push everybody to make this a new thing, uh, we talked about the possibility of a female lead Cenobite or female pinhead. And what pinhead? Pinhead! Gotta make sure I speak English. Uh, but what I did was I posted the question to our Facebook followers and I reacted to your comments. So that's what we're gonna do again. I got my computer set up here, I've got everything set up. If you saw the description of the video or the title of the video, Today is the 19th anniversary of Halloween Resurrection. So I put the question out there to all of our followers on Facebook. And the reason I use Facebook more is because we get more responses than Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. But the question states straight up, how are you going to celebrate? No, wait. I'm just joking. It says, uh, do you think Halloween Resurrection is the worst of the Halloween movies of all 11 movies? That's the question I pose to our Facebook followers, all 14,500, whatever. Uh, and we got some answers. We got some good answers, some medium answers. I think a lot of them are very similar, uh, some surprises. But I'm going to read them off, put them up on the screen. Let me know in the comments if, how you feel. Hit the like button also, and uh, tell all your friends. Uh, don't forget Thursday, we're talking about the Wreck movies on the Horror Syndicate Discourse, our weekly live show that we do live on Facebook and live on YouTube, which you can catch every Thursday or after the fact. We just won't put your comments up on the screen like we do on Thursday, on the day. Uh, sounds like the rain is stopping. So let's let's dive into some of these comments now. I had to change positions because I noticed that in the, la in the beginning, my blinds were in front of me, so whatever. I'm gonna do this in front of the posters and the movies and all this other cool stuff. Uh, so here we go, let's get into it. First response. And remember, the question is, uh, is Halloween Resurrection the worst of the franchise? Chris Jordan says, it's 100% the worst. It's not even close. And that's saying something. Halloween has a lot of bad sequels. Um, I kind of agree with that. And I know a lot of people hold the Halloween franchise in high esteem uh, for reasons I don't know. Halloween is a legendary horror movie, without a doubt, without a question. But are the sequels really that good? Are they? Two's great. Three is phenomenal. If you take it out of the Halloween franchise, it's a great movie. I love it. Uh, Halloween 4 is good, especially I love the opening. And then they really kind of go downhill after that. Five is awful. Six is not great, but I have a, a special place for it right here. Right there. Uh, and then I do not like H2O, and I really don't like Resurrection. I do not like the Rob Zombie movies almost at all. Why do I like this franchise so much? Huh. Anyway, I, li I like them, but they're just they're just because they're bad doesn't mean you don't enjoy them, right? So yeah, I kind of agree with that. Um, next, next one is from Paul Senuria. Sorry if I butcher your name if you watch this video. Third worst. Halloween 2018, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, both beat it. That is a unicorn. I've never heard anyone say the 2018 movie is the worst of the franchise. I'm not sure if you're saying that's the worst or if Halloween 2 is the worst from Rob Zombie. Um, 2018 is okay. I think Halloween Kills is going to make it better. And ultimately, I think Halloween Ends is going to make it even better. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Two, Alan Chambers says, absolutely, I think it's the worst. Uh, Charles Smith says, not when Rob Zombie's uh, Halloween 2 exists. 
That's another one. Andre Bickley says, I hated everything about this movie. This movie was so bad, they, they still haven't found a way to continue the story from this film. That's inaccurate. Uh, over at the horror syndicate.com, uh, Seth broke down the uh, script for Halloween Retribution, is what I believe it was called. I can link it in the description if you'd like, but uh, I'll also put it on this post on Facebook. Halloween Retribution, I believe, was the title. And it was supposed to bring back uh, Josh Hartnett's character, which really this movie should have had him in it, in my opinion. I wrote something years ago when I was a kid. After this came out, I was motivated. 22, not a kid. But I was motivated, excited. I found a way to uh, bridge the gap between Halloween 6 and Halloween Resurrection and bring both timelines you know, into play. Uh, Marco Carlson, who we heard from last time, says, Nowhere near the worst. It's a great parody of the franchise and hilarious. That's a good way to look at it. That is a great way to look at it. I mean, Michael Myers and Buster Rhymes, two Michael Myers fight each other. That's interesting, right? One of them is Buster Rhymes, and he does some kung fu moves, but whatever. Uh, Seth Stewart says, It's not great, but I'd choose it over both zombie Halloweens. Yes. Uh, David Wisner says, uh, third worst Rob Zombie Halloween 1 and 2 were worse than that one. That's a run-on sentence. Uh, Jimmy Willard says, yes, it is the worst one of, in the series, along with Halloween H2O. First H2O mention. I do not like H2O. I, there are aspects of H2O I like better than I like Halloween 2018, though. Especially with Lori's character. I find her character a little bit more believable in H2O than I do in 2018. Uh, let's see, K uh, Colby Trosclair says, Killing off Laurie Strode the way they did was the worst decision in the entire franchise. Maybe not the entire franchise, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of the way she died either. I don't like that she kissed Michael on the lips, on the mask, and then that was it. I mean, and I, think, I think the biggest mistake of the entire franchise was... Uh, not ending it at H2O and bringing him back for Resurrection. Uh, he got his head chopped off by Laurie Strode, the end. Uh, well, obviously it's not. Uh, those trash can movies that Rob Zombie made were absolutely worse than this. I will admit that Michael's mask looked weird as shit in this one. Um, one thing I'll say about the mask, it was consistent in Halloween Resurrection versus Halloween H2O, which they had like 30 of them, I think. And one of them was CG. They couldn't figure out which mask looked right and they never landed on just one. So in so many different takes, the mask looks different in so many different ways. So at least the mask was, you know, there was continuity to it where there wasn't an H2O. And let's face it, the mask hasn't looked good since Halloween 2. And even then, because of Dick Warlock, it looked weird compared to Halloween. Uh, Halloween 4's mask was a joke, but it made sense because uh, Michael grabbed that off the shelf of the uh, heart or the whatever store, the general store. And then Halloween 5, it looked like Nicolas Cage <laughs> and uh, the awful uh, uh, 4K box art that's coming out looks like Nicolas Cage almost exactly from Joel Robinson. What's Scream Factory thinking, by the way, hiring him? Hire Nathan Thomas Milner. He does a better job. Uh, and, you know, the mask, I think Halloween 6 has the best mask of all the sequels, in my opinion. Uh, Halloween 2018 is a, is a close second, because it's supposed to be the original mask. So, anyway. No, Resurrection. This is from Matthew Myers. Oh, Michael's brother, maybe, huh? Some more uh, familial ties there. No, Resurrection was bad, but Revenge of Michael Myers was the worst film. It was completely disjointed. Don Shanks says there's a lot missing from that movie. He played Michael Myers in that movie, I believe. And uh, especially there's a scene outside the orphanage or wherever Jamie was supposed to be where he takes on a SWAT team and goes Jason Voorhees on them. Which, oddly enough, in the trailer for Halloween Kills, you get to see Michael take on the fire department, which looked really cool. But man, how cool it would have been. And I believe Don Shanks said they filmed that. So it'd be great to see some kind of director's cut or cut of Halloween 5. Perhaps it'll make it a little bit better. I don't know. Uh, moving on to the uh, final comments. And remember, you can like the Horror Syndicate on Facebook. And you can subscribe for more of these videos. I'd like to get as many followers on here as possible. Because I really do enjoy talking about horror and making videos like this. Or the haul videos that I've done. 
or even ranking videos, which I plan on doing my personal overall ranking in October for all the entire Halloween series. So the last comment comes from George Catburn. He says, uh, with the question, is Halloween Resurrection the worst of the franchise? George says, Halloween 3 Season of the Witch would like to disagree. I asked George why, and uh, he says, because that movie was absolute garbage on every level. He Now, Chris Jordan does go on to check it out on our Facebook page, but he does go on to kind of try to convince him it's not that bad of a movie. And I'm here to tell you, Halloween uh, 3 is not bad. Seriously, take Michael Myers out of the equation. Take the uh, Halloween 3 off the title called Season of the Witch. Rewatch it. Tom Atkins is fantastic. Kyle Cochran is a great villain. It's, it's a great movie. Um, I said my answer to him was uh, it's... Uh, let me let, Give me one second. When he said that, I responded as the horror syndicate. A solid answer. Being a smartass. Halloween 3 is a very good movie. Not garbage. It is uh, disregarded because... It doesn't have Myers in the film, nor does it have anything to do with the rest of the the mess of the Halloween franchise. But Halloween 3 is a solid to very good horror movie. So, Halloween, the, the reason I say it's a mess, it's become a choose-your-own-adventure franchise, which is really cool in a way, because you could pick Halloween, the Halloween 2018, if you'd like. Or, hey, you want to watch Halloween 2? Cool. Then you can go on to watch Halloween H2O. And resurrection or just not resurrection at all and watch h2o or you can do my preferred route which is watch halloween 2 halloween 4 halloween 5 halloween 6 and end it right there the dr loomis jamie lloyd saga if you will uh that's all i got today i want to thank you all for watching hopefully we get some views this time and uh, i'll do another one i like asking questions i love getting responses from our followers on facebook or twitter or whatever uh, mostly Facebook because we have a lot more people on there. I am curious though to see who likes Halloween 5 or Halloween Resurrection. Which which one would win? I think Halloween 5. A couple years ago we did a uh, a five star ranking of movies. And out of all 300 plus horror movies we did, Halloween Resurrection had the worst score. It was like uh, 1.7 out of 5 stars after I ranked everything and, and averaged everything out. So... That's not great. The Rob Zombie movies actually made it higher on the list. So anyway, thanks again. Hit the subscribe button, please. And I'll, I'll do another video soon. Check out Seth's ranking of the Halloween franchise. And then check us out on Thursday as we discuss the Rex series live on Facebook and right here on YouTube. I watched the first one, never saw it, fell asleep three times. I'm not a fan. We'll see what everybody else has to say. Other than that, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.